Okay. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I saw that all through the times that we go to court. You know, your mother would talk to me. Oh, but I just want you so much in the lives of my of our kids and and all this bullshit and then go on the court and accuse me that I was gonna murder you guys. I was gonna murder her, that I was going to abuse I mean just I, I it just blows me away. That's okay. That's something she's gonna have to deal with when she gets her judgment day. When she finds out that Jesus ain't the man. But anyway, let's keep going. So that's what's gonna happen here in, in the uh, next year and a half. Gary will be coming. We've already talked about it. He's coming. So why did I decide to do this and share this part with you? And, you know, I've been thinking about it for the last month, maybe two months. Should I share this with you now or wait until I actually have the money or whatever? And now uh, share about the opportunity as to what I'm doing here, the project, which is un unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, tomorrow, uh, Exito, which is the Walmart, of uh, of Columbia, huge mega. I mean, stores everywhere, the, the size of WalMarts. They're coming tomorrow. The number one buyer for produce here in Medellin is coming to look at the project and everything. And uh, he already wants the freaking tomatoes. He wants to buy it all. <laughs> they all want to buy it all. They, no one else can do what, what Agri Sud American can do. But anyway. Anyway. So, have I missed you guys? Yeah. The the first uh, six years were the toughest. I shed more tears for the three of you. And it, what hurt the most was the rejection. You don't know nothing. Zero. Yet you judge me. You judge me on lies and accusations and, and the bullshit from the Busquets. You go with what they say, what your mother says without talking to me. Say, hey, what happened? Talk to me. Explain to me, Dad, what happened. Nah. In, in, in that sense, you've earned uh, the name Busquet. I'll be frank with you. Uh, ask your mother this. See, these are things that we'll talk about when we get here. I'll give you a whole list. Ask her these questions. And, and see how she answers, see? See, I, I, I'm really curious if your mother will look at you in the face and tell you the truth, or she will look at the face and lie to you. I, I, I personally think she'll lie to you. Yeah. Why? She's already lied. She lied to her husband. Just like I believe firmly that your mother fucked someone after we separated. Yeah, I've committed adultery. I believe that firmly. And... I can explain exactly why. Because I caught her in lies. In a lie. Big lie. Huge freaking lie about a guy. And there's only one reason for her to lie. Now, why would she go out and fuck someone? To try to prove to herself that she doesn't have any sexual problems. Which, boy, does she have them. Let me tell you something. Your mother will not get married again. She's not going to get married again. And I'll, I'll explain that in more detail. But your mother's not getting married. The sexual problems that she has are not going away with the next marriage. But the only problem is, on the next marriage, she can't blame the guy. Just like she did. Michael. That was Ian's father. Biological father. Here's a question to ask. Ian, here's a question to ask. Ask my soul. When you married my dad, and you were married for seven years, when did you have the first sex with my father? The first time she went to bed with him. I mean, had sex. I'm not talking about sleeping next to him. I'm talking about having sex. This came from your mother, Ian. From your mother to me. She told me that she did not have sex with Michael until married three and a half years of being married to Michael before she finally let him fucker. Because that's exactly what it would have been. I don't I'll be frank with you, you know, I admire your father. And your father did not commit adultery. I, I, I'll go ahead and share that with you now. But the point is this three and a half years of being married, honeymoon, 
and three and a half years of being married before your father finally had sex with Mighty Soul. Excuse me. I think someone has a sexual problem. What do you think, Ian? Ask your father if that's true. That's Mighty Soul. That's really who you should ask because she told me that face to face while we were dating before we got married. Now, what was the excuse she gave me? Oh, it's because when she married Michael, she loved him, but she didn't love him like a man. She loved him as her best friend. And when she got married, she felt like she was marrying her best friend. And she just couldn't have sex with her best friend. Oh, my God. Oh, geez almighty. Someone is fucked up. And it wasn't Michael. It's just like, you know, I, you know this for you, it got the nice and good, you can listen to it. I remember when, uh, after I, I, I found out and discovered that and saw through everything that Mighty Soul had been sexually molested as a little girl. And everything pointed the finger to her father. And, and, and she came to me and she said to me, no, that that didn't happen. And I said, no, she said, she, and she said to me, and she said to me, um, uh, well, I mean, the reason I have sexual problems with you is because you're not a friend. You don't take me out. We don't go out for an ice cream cone. We don't go out, you know, to a movie. We don't go out and do this. We don't spend time together. We don't talk, blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I said, so, so I said to her, so you're telling me that if we had gone for ice cream, we had spent a little bit more time together, I'm trying to keep us out of the tax system, etc., which you made that same decision with me, blah, 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 and everything. Uh, you're trying to tell me that uh, if we had done all those things, um, then you would have wanted to have sex with me? Yes, yes. Yes, I, uh, yes then the, we wouldn't have had a sexual problem. I said, interesting. She said, well, and, and I, I mean, I don't remember this per word, but it's just the, uh, the talking about it. And I said to her, well, the thing that I find very interesting is this, my soul. I said, didn't you tell me that you didn't have sex with Michael till three and a half years into the marriage? And she said, yeah. And I said, but you told me that Michael and you, all the time, you'd go out for ice cream, you'd go out to a movie, you'd do things together, and you'd do all of this, and you'd do all of this together, the things that I couldn't do. And you, yet you couldn't have sex with him. <laughs> and she goes, oh, 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 oh. See, I caught her in, got the Isaac and Chris. I caught her in a lie. It wasn't had nothing to do with movies or anything. It had to do with it. She's got problems. She is fucking messed up in this area. And when I caught her against the wall, she said, Oh, well, the reason I didn't have sex with Michael was because he raped me. Yeah, Ian. Your mother then, in order to get away from the fact that she is a fucked up bitch in the area of having sex with a man, then accused your father of raping her. Ooh. Ask her. Ask her. See, there's so much that the four of you don't know. You don't know the truth. You know jack shit. But yet, with jack shit, the four of you, but especially Katya Isaac and Kristen, because, you know, I'll be frank with you, I don't give a damn if you judge me or not. It makes no difference to you after what you did to Katya. I don't give a damn. But Katya Isaac and Kristen, you judge me, yet you know jack shit. <clears throat> what I'm trying to prevent for you three is this, that I die before we get together. Because what you're going to remember is this, that your father tried in every way, shape, or form to get things with you so we have an understanding of what happened, why I disappeared from your lives. And you can ask me any freaking question you want, and I will answer, truthfully. See, I, 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 I'm, I'm positive that, for example, this thing about uh, Mighty Soul not having sex with Michael, seven years of marriage and three and a half years before she let him touch her. Now, all i got to say about that is, is someone sick or what? But see, you judge me, got the Isaac and Christian, especially in a sense you, Isaac, who 
want to preach to me about Jesus. And yet, I mean, Frank, I love you guys. But I think I see you as a hypocrite. You're, you're busquet. Nothing but hypocrites. Hypocrites. You don't honor your father, the three of you. You don't, nothing, etc. At least, you know, in a sense, you know, you don't. And you want to come and preach to me about a false god called Jesus? Oh, please, give me a break. Okay, I was in Christianity for 24 years and it's nothing but a freaking life. I can get together with you guys in 30 minutes and I can ask you 10 questions that will destroy your belief in Jesus because it's all a big lie. Christianity and Catholicism are the same. They're sisters. They're brothers. They, uh, Catholicism created Christianity. You need to do your homework. I didn't know this for 24 years of being in the Christianity. I know it now. I wouldn't go into a freaking fucking satanic temple called Christian Church I, you couldn't pay me to go in that shithole. Okay? Because it's an abomination to the Creator, Yahuwah. That's His name. It appears 7,000 times in the Hebrew, which is where the original scriptures were written. His name is Yahuwah. It's not God. He's almighty. When I think of 24 years lost, but at least it took me 24 years to find out the truth. But anyway, so I'm going to keep sending to you the video. And Ian, you already know this. You pass these videos on to God, the Isaac, and Kristen. They do what they really they want with them. But if I find out, which I will find out, that you did not pass these videos that I'm sending you to give to them, if I find that out, Ian, you can kiss off coming to Columbia for a hundred thousand dollars or fifty, whatever it's kid. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see your face. And when it comes time for the inheritance, all you're going to know is how much you would have gotten by being honest. And then you just think, for the rest of the year, what you missed out for not being honest. It's that simple, Ian, for you. Isaac got in. Kristen had decisions to make. I said with you where I'm coming from, being honest and transparent and everything. And I'll, I'll tell you this right now. I'll go with the assumption that all four of you decide you don't want to come to Columbia. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take, yeah, it's the end of the water starting to come out. See, it's the end of the no? I'll take that freaking money and I'll, I'll freaking just give it away. Or I'll burn it. I don't care. Money doesn't have a meaning to me. It's just a tool to do things and to bless people. So I don't care. It's like I like I, I mentioned this before in our video, but I'll, I'll go over it. See, like Katya, Isaac, and Kristen, why don't you ask your mother this? Is it true that you filed a special? or a protection order against our father which would keep him out of our lives by declaring and accusing our father in that protective order that he was going to murder us? Did you do that, Mom? Did you make that false lie whereby he could never call us, he couldn't send us a Christmas gift, don't believe in Christians, don't bother Christians, but anyway, a birthday card, nothing, because if he had sent even a birthday card, the judge, who hates him, because I showed that the judge was a total asshole, okay, he would have put me in jail if he caught me for 10 years. Did you do that to our father? Which means that your mother did it to you, because see, Isaac, Christian, and Katya, you have a right to bond and to be in your father's life and for your father to be in your life. She stole that. Your mother stole that from you with false lies, accusations, hypocrisy, call it whatever you want. But why don't you ask her? Let's see if she tells you the truth. Now if she says no, she says no, then do this. Tell her that you want to see the original, the copy if she has of the original, protective order that she took out against me. Because it's right there. She says that I'm going to kill you. Tell her you want to see it after she lies to you. 
And then all I can say is that after you find out she's lied to you, then you got some decisions to make, I would think. Because see what you're going to find out. That's why I want you to come to Columbia. That's why I'm willing to give you the kind of money I'm talking about. Because you need to know the truth as to why I disappeared like if I had died from your lives. You need to know the truth. Your mother and the Busquets are not going to tell you the truth. Not going to happen. And that is what your mother is terrified of. You tell your mother that you're coming to Columbia as soon as I can send you the funds for the food. It will be within a year and a half. And she is going to go fucking ballistic. She's going to be in total terror. Because she knows that her day has come in which, she's, in which you three are going to know the truth. And she's scared to death as to what you are going to do once you find out what she did. I'm just going to tell you the truth. You do whatever you want to with it. But see, the difference between your mother and I is I don't lie. I'm not going to lie. If I was in the same room with your mother, I could destroy her verbally. She can't say a word. It's easy to destroy a liar, a false accuser. Really, I, I, I call your mother Satan's whore. Because she is. A whore is someone who sells their body. Your mother sold her spirit, her soul, to Shatan. She'll find out on Judgment Day. And going to church on Sunday and say, I can't be Jesus, but what I did? I got news for her. It's not what the Torah says. It doesn't work that way. But see, Christianity is a pagan cult. What does that mean? Well, it means it was created by Satan. It's a, it's a Satan's religion. And it's going to tell you something that appears to be the truth, but it's not. And you go into Sunday school, and Sunday church, to say, forgive me for what I did. Forgive me that I accused my husband that he was going to sexually molest my kids. Forgive me that I went into court and, and, and say that, and, and made the false accusation that my husband would abuse and physically beat the fuck out of my kids. Forgive me that I said in the court that my husband was going to murder my kids. Oh, Jesus, forgive me that I went into court and said that my husband was going to murder me all to get a protective order so that I could get him out of their lives. Falsely. With false accusations. And and you think, and, and, and yes, Christians think that going to Sunday and saying, forgive me, that that does it. I didn't say it. Biggest freaking lie. But when will, when will my soul find that out? Judgment. So you go, I didn't know that. I was told this. Too bad. Sheol waits for you. That's okay. It's just like, let me tell you, let me tell you the people that know that Mighty Soul was sexually molested by her father. Let me tell you who knows. There's actually four people. T.T. Eileen, her sister, knows that her father is a pervert. Mina, your grandmother, his wife, knows that he's a sexual pervert. Papon himself knows what he did to your mother. And so does Mighty Well, Mighty Soul, I'm not sure, because she told me herself that from the age of, of a little girl until she was 15, that she had had a memory block in which she could not remember anything that happened during those times. That's what she told me. Now she says that she never said that. Well, of course, what I expect from a liar. I'm only repeating what she told me. That she couldn't remember anything about those time periods in her life. Of course. Little girl is being sexually abused by her father all the time. Yeah. But Eileen knows. Titi Eileen knows. I bet you could put Titi Eileen in a room with me and she'd be admitting it within 30 minutes. She'd probably walk out because she couldn't handle the truth. Titi Eileen knows. Why? Because Titi Eileen almost became a victim of her sexual pervert father. The mother always knows when the father is abusing sexually the daughters or the sons. And she knows. And I can prove that also. 
and it's not a false accusation. I, I've come clean before Yahushua at the time of judgment, and there's no nothing in my heart in relation to that that I'm saying this to get even against her father, her mother, the Busquets, or whatever. No, it's because I already know what happened. And and I don't make and will not make a false accusation against someone because my eternity is much more valuable. I'm not gonna lose it over a fucking false accusation. Now, the Busquets will. The Busquets will. They don't have any problem with it. And they will. As I as I've told I believe I've told mighty soul in the past. When you bury your father, know that he's in Sheol, because if you think he's in the New Jerusalem, you are really fucking crazy. Your father destroyed two marriages, and he destroyed your life, mighty soul, with what he did to you. And he's not sorry. There's no repentance. There's no nothing from him on what he did. And when he gets and goes to judgment, he is not entering the New Jerusalem at all. It's not going to happen. But the thing is, like I just said, Mina knows, Titi Ali knows, and uh, and, uh, and Marisol so-so. But you guys are willing to protect the family name of the Busquets. You've got to protect the... Oh, so you're willing to let him, and I don't want your father going to the show, but hey, he earns it. And you all approve it by not doing anything to correct what he did. You're willing to let him go to hell. Got to protect the Busquets name or we're here on this temporary earth. Got to protect how we look. Yep. All vanity, all everything. That's fine. That's fine. You can live it. Okay, well anyway, there's a lot more coming in, in, in relation to this, but uh, anyway. So you know what's coming in the next year and a half. I'll be sending Ian videos as to with the progress of what's happening here, there, and all that. Uh, and uh, well, you all decide what you want to do. You either want your inheritance or you don't. But like I said, it's not going to no fucking Busquets. Not going to happen. It's okay. Like I said, everything that we do always has a consequence. There's always effects. You change your name, okay. You change it to whatever you hell. You can call yourself Mickey Mouse for all I care. That's you. You can call yourself whatever you want. But Mickey Mouse isn't getting an inheritance. And believe me, I tell you, if I'm alive in the next in these next ten years coming, which I believe I will be, um, the inheritance is going to be absolutely phenomenal. But all you'll be able to do is look back and say, you know, our dad let us know. Made the decision this. So I'll just keep swinging pizza or whatever, working as a slave, having a job, kind of like the prodigal son when I could enjoy the riches and the, and the wealth that basically this is for you. But it's only going to a Burbano. It's not going to a Busquets. But that's your decision, guys. It's your decision. It's not mine. I just give you the conditions and how I operate. I definitely have people that I can leave this to. And like I said, my goal here is um, I'm seeing a couple different ladies. They all can definitely get pregnant. I do not want a, a woman in the 50s. Give me a break. I don't want an oldie. No way. No way. 56 years old? Yeah. Give me a break. Not interested. <laughs> it's interesting because I get, you know, in social sites, I get women that write to me that are in their 50s, 60s, and they can actually see my, my age of 66 and say, think I'm looking. Well, I am looking, but. And I let them know, I'm sorry, but I want a woman in her 30s. I don't want a woman who's in her 50s or 60s. I want a young mamacita. <laughs> Una jovencita mamacita, ¿no, Ramiro? Es lo que queremos, ¿no? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we want a mamacita that's nice and young and, and, and can bear me children. At least one, but if we have two or three, that's fine. And they'll, they'll get the inheritance. 
And that's why I decided to go with a woman. But see, when I when I came to Columbia and I found out what your mother had done, that's when I knew that a, that a woman had to be able to bear me children. Because before that, I was thinking a woman that's probably somewhere between 42 to 45. I wanted a woman at least 15 years younger than me. And uh, I definitely did not want somebody in their 50s. Forget it. Yeah. No, thank you. And uh, I, I have a lot of friends that are in their 50s, a lot of lady friends that are in their 50s, but I'm not interested in them for a marriage. No, I'd rather have a woman in her 30s. So I changed because I, then I knew that I did not have someone to leave the inheritance that was going to come one day. I always believed that I would eventually do something that's going to produce an incredible inheritance, and I got it. Mira lo traes, el proyecto. Amina. There it is. This is the model. From here, I have people. I have the. I have the univer The universities. All of the universities want to come here. Many of the municipalities that are in the border around uh, Medellin, they want to come and see this. Except I'm waiting. I, I want them to see the tomatoes growing. Yeah, I want to come, and this baby is going to take off, and it's going to be a multinational company. The question is, is the multinational company going to be in your life? Yes. It will be in the life of any and every Burbano. Will it be in the life of a Busquets? Not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. I'm not going to allow, I'm not going to allow it to be okay for something that I've worked for and everything that's happened that's negative and all that because of the Busquets all of a sudden I'm going to leave a Busquets inheritance fuck you it's not going to happen ooh he said fuck you yeah yeah I, I use those words at times when they're merited so that's where we are well, I'm going to go, but I'll, I'll be continuing. And, and, and this also, you, you saw the, hopefully the video where today where I was with a couple who bought the first franchise and uh, they're interested in growing um, and all that. It's just a lot happening. So we'll see what happens. So anyway, hey, you know where I'm coming from. you got decisions to make. Ian, you got decisions to make. Okay, that's it.